Namaskar and good afternoon to all our viewers and learners in this live phone in session of CIT and CRT. I am Renu Bhatt with you all and you are with us live on PMA Vidya channel, channel number 10 and on our NCRT official YouTube channel. And dear learner, in this special session of English, we are going to learn more about approaching English examination paper and papers are examinations are around the corner and you will be uh, given uh, so many you will get so many tips and notes in this session by our expert let's meet her our expert is miss meenu gupta your mentor teacher from directorate of education very warm welcome ma'am good afternoon and dear learner, this is our live phone in session. So we are expecting your participation. You can participate in this session through phone call and email address. You can call us on our telephone number that is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. Either you can drop a mail at our email address that is dth.class10 at the rate cit.nic.in. And in case you have joined us through our live streaming, that means you are on our on NCRT official YouTube channel. Go to the live chat box and drop your comment out there. Our expert will be happy to answer all your queries and doubts. So we are expecting your participation in this particular live phone in session. You are with us on PM Video channel as well as I am are on NCRT official YouTube channel. So ma'am, let's begin this session uh, with you. What special content tips and notes you have for our learner ma'am? See, there is nothing specific. Mm -hmm. If I would say the point is these are something that your teachers must have talked to you about over the year. But because the exam is right around the corner, you hardly have 20 days before we hmm. enter your board examination center. So I'm just revising all of them for you. So and plus I'll point out a few things that you might have skipped or might have lost while preparing for the examination. So ma'am, what tips and nuances they have to keep in their mind while uh, attempting an examination ma'am? See, while attempting an examination, first and foremost thing is you have to attempt everything. Okay. That's the first and foremost thing. Please hmm. don't leave anything hmm. unless and until you attempt your end up losing marks. Hmm. The next is time management is very, very important. That is for generic for every question, every okay. question paper, irrespective which subject you are attempting it hmm. for. And the 15 minutes you are offered prior to beginning of the examination is very important, especially for English. Hmm. Reason being because English have two comprehension passages of 350 words and 400 words. So that hmm. reading time needs to be used hmm. very carefully. Okay. Okay. So ma'am, shall we begin the session ma'am? Yeah, sure. Please. Yes ma'am. So as the students can see on the screen, this is the bifurcation. Your examination of English is on 27th April 2022. and the bifurcation of 50, it would be a 50 marks paper out of which 10 is internal assessment, 10 is reading section, 10 is writing and grammar section and 20 comes to literature. Hmm. This is mark distribution. This is not the exact weightage of your CBSC board. Please pay attention. The weightage would come later once you have given the examination. So, so we don't know whether you will get 50-50, what you will get 60-40. Hmm. So p this paper needs to be paid more attention. Sometimes the SA2 examination holds more weightage hmm. in terms of percentage. Hmm. So please be very, care very careful while attempting the examination. So beginning with the reading section, we will have two questions, two passages. One is a discursive passage of 400 to 450 words. And a discursive passage is nothing where, where it's an opinion based passage. It could be a simple opinion, it hmm. could be an argument, it could be a presentation of thoughts and ideas and sometimes there is a lot of information given in the passage. Hmm. That is why the 15 minutes needs to be utilized very carefully. And then second is a case based factual passage where you will have some data to work upon. Okay. So we need to pay very keen attention to the data that is being presented. Data can be in the form of a table, it could be a pie chart, in any form. Usually it's a table and it is very easy to understand. So where we need to pay attention is both the passages would be of five marks, but you'll have six questions. So you'll have one question as an optional question. You need to attempt only five. And for those one marker, we need to write only 20 to 30 words. That is two sentences hmm. would be more than enough to get one marks. Hmm. Another thing that we need to keep in mind while attempting a discursive passage 
is the inference based questions that will come this time okay so here the child needs to infer the conclusion they need to uh, reflect upon what is given in the passage and come to their own conclusion there would be no direct answer in the uh, passage given so we mm. need to be very careful while we are attempting that question moving ahead for the writing skill you will have two questions one would be a letter that is it could be either a letter of order or inquiry and another would be an analytical paragraph the child it would carry a weightage of 5 marks and the students have to attempt only one out of these two hmm. so again you have an option okay the point is we need to be very careful where we have options so that while preparing we pay attention to what we are comfortable and where we can score more marks exactly another 5 marks out of the 10 marks of writing and grammar portion is grammar where there will be two questions one of 3 marks and one of 2 marks for the 3 marker usually an editing or an omission question is given there would be three uh, answers one marks each and for the two marker usually it is a reported speech we are expecting a reported speech this time yeah, there would be two blanks one marks each mm -hmm. okay for the literature it carries a maximum weightage 20 marks so here is what we are we can get good marks if we are very uh, what should we say well versed with the content of the chapters we can hmm. get this 20 marks very flat out hmm. so this is the syllabus that we have for this there would be 6 into 2 that is 12 marks would be question number 6 but you'll get seven questions again one question would be an optional you can uh, have exercise that option and attempt any six hmm. because it's a two marker question you are expected to write at least 40 words or approximately four lines and for the next question that is question number 7 it's a long answer question so the child is expected to write 80 words minimum that is eight lines again you will be given three questions out of which only two are to be attempted for four marks hmm. each so as you can see there is a lot of option available in the hmm. question paper hmm. so if i i am very clear where i have options and hmm. i have limited time hmm. although we hope that you study each and everything hmm. and you are comfortable with the course content however hmm. there could be some topic you are not very comfortable with yeah. then we uh, this is where we play very smart and hmm. exercise those options <laughs> right so one thing we need to be very very is that that is very important and mm. we need to do is read each and every line of the ncert very carefully mm. because this time direct questions won't be there throughout the examination okay. the mm. direct questions are totally out mm. the point is you need to understand and answer yourself so unless and until you are thorough with what is the content of the chapter mm. who spoke that particular dialogue where did that dialogue come in that particular chapter then you won't be able to answer the question hmm. and then there are some questions where the theme is picked up and the child has to answer according to the theme and the, hmm. there are common themes among the chapters that can be found hmm. for example if we talk about role of parents hmm. there are couple of chapters that have this common theme running amanda then there could be bholi mm. then there could be uh, life of a scientist so all these chapter have this common theme so there could be a question that talks about this common theme and you need to quote text from each and every chapter mm. so unless and until i know the chapters i am not able to attempt the answers okay. so please read through your chapters and poems very carefully you should know the name of the poets you should know the main idea behind the poem and the chapter and what is the main running strand what is it actually poet aiming at telling you then only we can go ahead with the examination okay next is you need to solve a couple of cbsc sample papers one sample paper i am going to show you today hmm. that is available on the cbsc website there are okay. more practice papers that are available hmm. on the cbsc website and there are various channels on the internet that hmm. you can find those papers hmm. but the point is unless and until you practice them because just like i have just told that 
all the questions that you'll get this time in the CBSE, and this is the first time, I think in two years, we are attempting an offline examination. Right. So we need to be more careful. Hmm. So we have to be very particular hmm. in terms of the text, because text is known, rest hmm. is unknown. Right. So we need to practice a lot. Hmm. And more you practice, more you'll understand the tag words. Hmm. The next is we need to avoid the spelling and grammar mistakes because every four mistakes you do, you end up losing one marks in English. Now, I was about to ask you that question. Is there any negative mark? Exactly. For, that? for every four mistakes, hmm. you end up losing one mark. Okay. So we need to avoid, hmm. make shorter sentences. Hmm. Don't go on and or don't hmm. increase the length of okay. your... Uh, answer hmm. don't increase the length of your sentence by adding more connectors because you lose lose the sense of tense or the hmm. I hmm. idea we talk about hmm. so we make small sentences hmm. it will reduce the chances of mistakes hmm. and get good marks right another thing is we need to pay attention to the question tags what hmm. exactly is the question asking for hmm. like if it is asking justify hmm. then we need to look what is the question and give answer in support of that particular statement. Hmm. Suppose if I take up the same statement like parents hmm. play a very important in uh, role in the life of the child. So justify. Okay. So I need to just pick up a topic like I pick up a chapter making of a scientist and I talk about the role of the mother in the life of that particular scientist hmm. and I just prove that the statement is correct. Hmm. So justification is nothing but proving that the statement is correct. Hmm. But if the question is elucidate, hmm. here elucidate means we need to support it more. We need to give more examples of the same idea. We need to support it with more synonyms, more character traits, more uh, examples from the text. So this is what elucidate is asking for. If it is right, the significance of this particular thing, then the point is that it is expecting you to uh, highlight its importance. So anywhere that importance is highlighted, you need to quote that particular portion of the text. Then if the question says critically examine, here comes your role. You can have to write both in favor and you can even point out your own ideas where you can check whether what is given in the text is correct or not. So critically examination is where you are allowed to voice your own ideas also. So this is the sample paper. This is from CBSC sample paper term 2. This is the first paragraph that carries 5 marks weightage. So this is a discursive pass, uh, paragraph. So technology is making advancement. So when you are reading a text, hmm. especially I am asking you to read it in those 15 minutes hmm. before the uh, actual board paper begins. Because this time there, it's a possibility that you'll get only two hours because it's only a 40 marks paper. So you'll get hardly two hours to attempt the examination. So you don't have three hours where you can read and spend time on the text. Hmm. So and for attempting a comprehension passage, a text needs to be read at least twice or thrice. Hmm. So one reading should be done before the exam commences. Right. So t if I'm talking about this particular text, so what I need to note when I'm reading the text for the first time? What is the main idea? Suppose if I'm reading about this particular paragraph, you hmm. can make out it's talking about technology. Then there are keywords that come, will come up again and again, hmm. handicraft. Mechanism, uh, yes, so handicraft, machinery, so it is basically something, it, I'll get a basic idea that it's talking about something that is not using technology, promoting our own handicraft, promoting our own tradition and culture. So when I am reading the text for the first time, I need to make what is the main idea of that particular text, what the writer wants to talk about. So this is the questions. Again, you can see there are six questions that are given and each question has a different type. Hmm. Different type of question tags are being used. So I'm just discussing the question tags for you so that you are able to understand what is expected out of me when I'm attempting this question. 
first of all the best part is i have six questions if there is problem with one question i can just drop that one hmm. don't try to attempt that one so what does so what means that a particular fact needs to be pointed out so hmm. i can just look for that particular info and write it down second rewrite the sentence so writing the same sentence will end up losing marks we need to be very clear that i don't lose the thread of the idea and rewrite it in my own words then state any two reasons so it is basically just picking up information from the text and copying it down hmm. fourth question why do so why questions are tricky hmm. because we need to think why this particular thing happened here is what your own input is required you might not find the answer in the text itself you need to use your common sense and conclusions list one likely impact of the support and how does the writer justify again the how questions are a little tricky you have to find the means or the medium through which this process happens now one thing that i need to keep in mind hmm. when i am attempting these questions hmm. is this is section is from the marking scheme that cbsc has uh, rolled out so what is the aim of giving this comprehension passage to the child why are we giving this comprehension to you hmm. just we want to use a lot of your time that's not the idea the point is the cbsc wants to check whether you have this capability of comprehending what is given to you you are able to read the language and understand what is the idea behind the language so please pay attention to point number 3 that says no marks will be awarded if a chunk or exact line is transcribed from the passage without evidence of the structure or semblance of a coherent thought hmm. that means what earlier children used to do was they used to pick the exact line from the copy co and, and copy it down but hmm. this is not it will not work this time hmm. you have to pick up information from the text but please use the structure of the question so they have to use their own language right? yes so actually so while while writing that answer is it necessary or mandatory for that uh, particular student to use jargon so big heavy words to uh, attribute uh, add some attributes like that or they have to use some easy language see language hmm. can be easy it, hmm. it just needs to be grammatically correct okay the easiest way is you hmm. begin with the what is given in the question hmm. and then continue with the information given hmm. in the passage hmm. it shows that you have understood the question hmm. and you have found the re relevant information and then hmm. we continue with the answer and it will give you full marks okay. the best part of about comprehension passages that you can score 10 on 10 okay if you are writing the correct answer hmm. and using your own appropriate language that is needed you can get 10 on 10 no okay. marks are deducted here all right hmm. so hmm. if i moving ahead hmm. so this is the passage number 2 here you can see how it comes is a little information ki what kind of data that is being given then there is the data that is available to us and then the questions are here so again look at the question tags why comment justify why do so, how does the evidence from the table number 1 support the statement what purpose does the this column serve hmm. so if you are able to see all these questions hmm. they all have different question tags hmm. a different type of answer is expected so unless and until i understand what is question asking from me hmm. i can't attempt the answer so hmm. that is why i'm saying please pay very hmm. close attention to what the question is asking okay so then next is this is a analytical paragraph hmm. so there is a like a couple of information that is given from the paragraph and hmm. then you have to write in option to this question would be a letter writing so it's hmm. a letter of inquiry write a letter to teen toggle games hmm. inquiring about the rules scholarship and that hmm. so you can attempt any one in which you are comfortable in writing okay. so ma'am here let me tell you that we have left uh, with 
four more minutes ma'am so mm. we'll just wind it up very quickly sure, because it's a five marker question mm. three marks is for content and two marks are for like two marks are for content two mm. marks are for expression and one is for accuracy right so for the content again mm. you have to be like there should be an opening line mm. that should be an appropriate Hmm. then information given should be appropriate then again half is for the conclusion hmm. then expression again means that you need to use appropriate content tenses hmm. and uh, phrases okay and can then can we have the presentation on screen yeah so this is an error hmm. you need to you'll have half marks for the error and half marks for the correct answer okay. so both need to be written here hmm. and then this is a reported speech again one marks each for the answer so again this is from the literature part there would be seven questions out of which six needs to be attempted but again i'm saying you will not get direct questions please be very thorough with all the text you are hmm. having then this is the long answers three would be given out of which only two needs to be attempted so for the two marks one is for the content one is for the expression and for the four marker two is for the content and two is for the expression and accuracy hmm. right so this is the whole we have discussed the marking scheme and hmm. what needs to be pointed out if you have any specific question now then we can pick take that up now anything else you want to add here see i just need hmm. to add that you need to be very thorough with the text okay you need to be sure who is speaking that particular dialogue mm. name of the characters and character what is the character traits at mm. least you should know at least four character traits about each character because mm. if you are attempting a four marker question there needs to be four mark at least four character traits that you need, need to point out and then you give examples from the text so mm. you'll get, end up getting full marks okay so dear learner as ma'am said you have to go through with the uh, whole paper and this time is for me to wrap up this session but let me thanks our expert meenu gupta for ma'am being here and for your detailed information on this topic thank you so very much ma'am thank you and dear learners and viewers it's time for me to wrap up this session here only but you stay tuned with us on pma vidya channel and on our ncrt official youtube channel remember to signing off namaskar <laughs>